Nintendo have been teasing the Switch Online service for a while now, and we didn't really know anything about it at all. Until now, that is. Now, Reggie fils is notorious for his teasing. You know. Reggie... fils No, is that not... Nailed it. Is that what... It, is that what you were going for? No, but you fuck it. I, oh, I, right. I dragged out of you, see? Oh. The best masters tend to tease, <laughs> tease things from their apprentices, yes. and that was... That was a... Yes, Mr. Miyagi, you're right. Nintendo have finally detailed the online subscription service for the Switch console. The Switch online service is similar to the likes of PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold, giving people access to online multiplayer, eShop discounts, and a library of classic NES games such as Super Mario Bros., Ice Chambers, and The Legend of Zelda. The NES games will also be enhanced to support online multiplayer. The service also offers cloud saving for compatible Switch games, finally giving people the ability to back up their save data something which couldn't be done before. Unlike PS Plus and Xbox Live Gold, the Switch Online service requires a paid subscription to use. Pricing for the service comes in three tiers, one month for £3.49, three months for £6.99, or 12 months for £17.99. There's also a family membership which lets up to eight Nintendo accounts use the service for 12 months at the price of £31.49. The Switch Online service will launch this September. But it seems some aren't happy with the announcement as putting cloud saving behind a paywall has upset some Switch owners. According to a thread on the Reset Era forums, Nintendo is now the only console manufacturer who does not offer a free method of backing up save files. The thread's creator Redhead on Moped points out while Sony tie cloud saving to PS Plus, users can back up their save data on an external hard drive or USB storage. Meanwhile, Microsoft lets anyone use Xbox Cloud Saving completely free of charge, and PC users have been able to back up their data since PC gaming first started. And the bad news doesn't stop there. Nintendo told Kotaku's Jason Schreier that the Nintendo Virtual Console will not be making a return on the Switch. Quote, There are currently no plans to bring classic games together under the Virtual Console banner, as has been done on other Nintendo systems. A Nintendo spokesperson told Kotaku in an email. The last three Nintendo consoles, the Wii, 3DS and Wii U all had a virtual console which featured a branded shop with a small range of classic games from the NES, the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 and so on. So this finally is some details on the Switch online service, exactly how it's going to work, what it's going to be, when it's going to be available, which is in September. This is just Nintendo coming up to where the market is because that's what Sony do, that's what Xbox does. They'd be absolutely nuts to not do it because People are willing to pay for online on consoles, and so they're offering a pretty decent value one by looks at seventeen ninety nine for a year for a year, and you get access to a library of, of uh, classic Nintendo titles as part of that as well. In terms of where the console market is, it's, it's a pretty good offering, I reckon. But obviously, it's not all good news because of the uh, annoying little bits of news about the the cloud saving thing. You've got to have to you have to pay a subscription to back up your save file, something which you can do for free in yeah. some form on other platforms. And also the fact there's not going to be a virtual console, which has been a popular feature on the previous systems. No little shop that you can just pop into and buy whatever classic game you want. That's not how it's going to work anymore because they've got this subscription service now. For comparison as well, the, um, the price for the subscription, um, obviously you get these free games, but on a PS subscription you get like the free monthly games, which are generally yeah. quite good, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So you're kind of paying a little bit more of a premium for um, free games every month. It's 50 it? quid on PlayStation now. 50 for a year, so yeah. uh, comparison wise I get 20, oh, an 18 pound a year versus yeah. 50 pound a year. Is that hiking price worth those extra games to get per month? I mean, it's quite a, good, quite a moment every month. We're like, oh, have you seen the PS Plus games? It, it, yeah, it's you, quite exciting, yeah. right? So it's going to be interesting to see how, how Nintendo actually handle it uh, in terms of how they pace out the release and stuff or is it, I think it sounds like it's going to be more like a Netflix type system where there's just a library that you yeah. have access to you just jump yeah, into but it they're all old games as, essentially as well could, what, the, the classics is the word that I, uh, I, I say old yeah, I'm, <laughs> they're me all old does that make me a classic I'm a classic around here my <laughs> And according to a new job listing, Nintendo are looking for an experienced level designer to work on the Legend of Zelda series. As reported by IGN, the position will include dungeon creation, enemy design, events and field creation. So it looks like Nintendo are working hard on the Zelda franchise once again, but of course, at this stage, we don't know exactly what they'll be working on. It could be more DLC for Breath of the Wild, or it could be a new game entirely. But Nintendo is usually stuck to making two Zelda games per generation, so a new game for the Switch isn't off the cards. 
And in other Nintendo news, outgoing Nintendo president Tatsumi Kimishima said Nintendo aren't looking for the Switch to outsell the Wii, but they will be happy if it keeps selling well. If you were one of the maybe 12 people who didn't own a Wii, the Wii was a huge success for Nintendo, selling more than 101 million units worldwide in its lifetime. Nintendo's follow-up to the Wii, the Wii U, was less successful, only managing to sell 13.56 million units during its lifetime, a milestone the Nintendo Switch surpassed in under one year. Yeah. Kimishima said, quote, The benchmark is not whether Nintendo Switch sales can surpass total Wii sales, but rather we adapt and respond to changes in the market and strive to continue selling Nintendo Switch as long as possible. I just want to point out that that is a metaphorical 12 and not a literal 12. <laughs> I know that 7 billion minus 101 million isn't 12, it's just to illustrate, just how, to illustrate how popular the Wii yeah. was. Thank you for everyone who's been helpful and already <laughs> commented to explain that to me. Other than that, it's great to hear they're working on a, a potentially another Zelda or more Zelda content either way. It is. Um, it's kind of something that you'd su suspect because like we said in the voice over there, there are, have traditionally kind of been two Zelda games per generation. So this will probably be one that's nearer the end of the Switch's console yeah. life cycle so it won't be anytime soon. But um, you know, the last one, some people call it the best game of all time. Where'd you go from there? Just another best game of all time. Man. Yeah, who knows? Keep Fingers crossed. Out. It doesn't make sense that it would be DLC because when they announced the original DLC for Breath of the Wild, they did that just before release of the game. So to yeah. generate more DLC now doesn't make sense. It means that we're getting a new Zelda game in the next few years, which has got to be good news. So what do you think of Nintendo's new Switch online service? Are you a fan of what they're trying to offer here, or would you like to see something that doesn't cost £18, maybe free online, free multiplayer? What's wrong with that? Let us know down in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you happen to enjoy the video. There's another one right there, which you can watch right now if you want, and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.